What's up guys? Hey, it's Colton Lindsay coming at you live inside of the WJ Academy. I want to talk to you about a subject of fear. Fear is actually dictating us from the actions we do or don't take. So how would you like to actually make fear your best friend? And one of the things that I do when I interview people that apply to join the WGR Mastermind is I actually take them through a process to identify if there's someone that's interested in creating their business, their financial freedom, and their personal fulfillment, or if they're actually committed. And so I'm gonna share with you a little bit the difference between an interested person and a committed person after I go through a few things. But one of the things that has really helped me get more clear with the things that hold me back is writing. So one of the things I do a lot myself is I write poems. I don't typically share them out publicly until just recently, but I wanted to share a poem that I had written in regards to fear that helped me understand even more how fear is actually there to help us create life on our terms. So here it is, it's called Fear is a Funny Thing. Fear is a funny thing. We choose to hide it because we're afraid. We literally are afraid of fear. Fear of what they'll say, fear of what they'll think, fear of who we truly are. Fear is a funny thing. 95% of what we fear will never harm us, yet we let fear dictate the actions we never take. Fear of what to say, fear of what to think, fear of who we truly aren't. Fear is a funny thing. By honoring our fear, it sets us free. When fear becomes our friend, it teaches us who to be. Fear teaches us what to say. Fear teaches us what to think. Fear teaches us who we truly are. What's so interesting about fear is that we try to hide from it. Whether we try to uh, hide from the fact that we're scared of not making more money or we're afraid of getting rejected or we're afraid of that maybe we can't duplicate what we did the previous year. We actually pretend that the fear is not there. And by hiding that fear inside, it actually makes it worse. Scientifically speaking, it will put inside of us negative emotional molecules that get trapped inside of our unconscious mind. Our unconscious mind is actually our entire body, our entire nervous system. Anyone that says fear is not what holds you back is lying to yourself. It's because you're actually hiding the fear so deep you're not consciously aware of it. Think about it for just a second. When you're moving through your business, and you have stress or overwhelming or anxiety or, or you just are, are maybe even jealous of what another person's doing. That is negative emotion inside of you. That is a signal that you are hiding fear inside and you don't like the way you feel. So you have options. You pretend that that fear is not there. Some of you turn to drugs, some of you turn to alcohol, some of you turn to sex, some of you turn to social media. Amazon, even a lot of you turn to positive thinking and busy work that really hides the fear inside. But when you start to move forward and acknowledge, you know what, I, I am afraid that maybe I won't make enough money next month. I actually am afraid that, um, you know, like m maybe this deal falls apart. I, I am afraid that they're gonna maybe not like my presentation or you know, I am afraid that if, here's the biggest one. So many people actually let fear of holding on to money and not getting more keep them from investing in an education program. They actually are afraid that the program won't work or they're afraid that they can't deliver on it, that they don't have enough drive, that they don't have enough focus. And so they let fear keep them from moving forward. They literally hide behind it by saying such things as like, that's not what I want. I don't have enough drive. I'm not good enough for that or whatever it is. And they literally never even try because fear keeps them from moving forward. But if we move forward in that pattern of fear, it literally will continue to perpetuate in our entire life, in our entire business. It happens with your finances. It happens with your business. It happens with your health. It happens with your relationships. It happens with your mental strength. We all have fear. But here's what's cool. When you can literally admit that you're afraid, what you're afraid of, when you can just say it, and breathe through it, it will process through. And then when you can describe, literally, one of the activities that I do is I will breathe, and when I get it surfaced up, I will say, hey, I'm, I'm actually afraid that the WJR Academy fails. I'm afraid that I put all this content out there and it doesn't make a difference for anyone, or I'm afraid that as we shift this, we'll lose money from the other parts for business. These are literal fears that I have. But I can, I can 
put those and keep those down inside of me, which makes it worse with time. Or I can breathe through and say, you know what, dude, like, I know that's your fear, but dude, check out the studio you're shooting in. Check out the office space that you guys have created. Check out the revenue numbers. We were up 72% in 2018 with our online revenue with the WG Academy, 72%. We literally have people every single day signing up for one of our programs. And so as we can see, that fear no longer holds me captive, but it allows me to take time to set gratitude expectations inside of my body and vocalize what I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for you guys. 14 of you guys are watching live right now. Several of you guys are commenting and engaging. That means my voice is being heard. Now, as I begin to reposition fear, instead of just hiding it, but acknowledging it and breathing through it and describing my physical experience, then I can start to share gratitude. And now gratitude is what actually takes hold into the unconscious mind. Remember what I shared the unconscious mind is, it's not just the brain. The unconscious mind is literally every part of our body, our entire nervous system. So Brandon said, for me, just taking action makes it go away. Action is one of the quickest ways to, com to, to suffocate fear. Rich says, just here to learn all your secret powers. <laughs> My secret powers are just to like freaking share and be authentic. So hopefully you guys can take away from this. And instead of hiding your fear, acknowledge your fear. Be vulnerable with your fear. Be willing to share with yourself what your fear is. Literally, what I wrote today was just certain fears about aspects of relationships in my life. I wrote that in my journal today so that I could acknowledge it, I could breathe through it, and then I could actually see how that wasn't the case. Because 95%, and in the poem I wrote this, 95% of your fears will never harm you or affect you physically, yet you allow every single one of your fears to dictate the actions you do or you don't take. Whereas if you do like Brandon and you just take action in spite of the fear, in spite of the uncomfortable feeling, that's what makes you a committed individual to your business, to your finances, and to your personal fulfillment. That's why I take people through the mastermind application process to determine if they are committed or interested. Here's what an interested person does. An interested person hides their fears. An interested person will not acknowledge their fears. An interested person will literally keep making the same decision over and over again that's got them where they're at because they're afraid of doing it a little bit more and a little bit differently and a little bit in the space of uncertainty. And so an interested person won't invest in something like the mastermind. They won't invest in an education program. They won't get on the phones an extra hour a day. They won't take the action when they're afraid. But a committed person will actually see the fear, will acknowledge the fear, will actually embrace that fear and that uncertainty. And by doing it, the fear shrinks and they get into action. They act not without fear, but with fear as their friend. And in that uncomfortable space, they find a maximum amount of new comfort because your success and your fulfillment is directly relationed to the amount of uncertainty you can comfortably handle. So I literally want to just appreciate you all for being here. And I want to acknowledge you're not alone if you've got fears. But don't let fears keep you from taking action in your life. If any of you guys are interested in applying for the mastermind, Go to www.thewgrmastermind.com and let's see if you're interested or if you're committed with your business and your financial freedom and your personal fulfillment. I'll drop the link down below. Hopefully you guys have a great day. We'll see you later.